Hi, this is Mary Grace Bernabe. In this video, we're going to tackle about the multiple integrals, the double and the triple integrals. First off, we're going to go back what is integration and see what happens if we find double or triple integrals. Integration is in a way finding the area underneath a curve if we take, for example, the integral of the function f of x that is equal to the area underneath the curve graphically represented by that function of f of x. And that is only for a function that has a single variable. But what if a function has a more than one real variable such as the f of x comma y or f of x comma y comma z? In that the time, multiple integral come upon. Integral of a function of two variables over a region in r squared are called double integral. Just as the integral of a positive function of two variables represent the volume of the region between the surface defined by the function on the three-dimensional Cartesian plane where z is equals to f of x comma y. This volume is represented by double integral of f of x comma y dx dy or it is equivalent to the expression of the double integral of f of x comma y as x ranges a b y ranges cd the same volume can be obtained via the triple integral it is the integral of a function that has a three variables of a constant function of f of x comma y comma z or equals to one over the above mentioned region between the surface and the plane this volume is represented by a triple integral of f of x comma y comma z dx dy dz or this is equivalent to the expression of the triple integral of f of x comma y comma z as x approaches to a b y approaches to c d and z approaches to e f now we know that one integral give us a two-dimensional area two integral give us a three-dimensional volume three integral give us a four-dimensional hypervolume and we know how single double or triple integral define how can we evaluate this multiple integral before that there are three cases in evaluating multiple integrals the strip independent and dependent strip cases are the integral with no given limit independent cases are the integral with a constant limit dependent is an integral with constant and variable limit and one more thing in integrating this multiple integral we should remember the PPE. You may think it is actually needed for this time, but it's not. It is the parenthesis, plug, and evaluate. So, no more further ado, and let's do more quantitatively and try specific function to understand more in evaluating multiple integrals. So, let's start with the strip cases. Remember the good old calculus days and all the time we spent with integrating single integral? It is just pretty much the same in multiple integrals. So let's go through to example number 1. Double integral of 1 plus xy dx dy. First thing we should do is start out with parentheses. Then... Treat y as a constant and focus only on the x variable. Then, integrate it in terms of x, so it will be x plus x squared y over 2. Then, plug it into the outer integral. To finish it, we need to compute the remaining integral with respect to y. So, it will be xy plus x squared y squared over 4. The question is, can this be interchangeable or can it be integrated first with respect to y? 
Yes, it can be. So let's try to see. Again, start out with parentheses. In terms of changing the order of it, treat x as a constant and focus only on the y variable. Then, integrate it in terms of y. So it'll be y plus xy squared over 2. Then plug it into the outer. To finish it, we need to compute the remaining integral with respect to x. So it will be xy plus x squared y squared over 4. So it is still the same, so you can interchange its order. But what about triple integral? It's on the same process. Just remember PPE. So, start out with parentheses, and I want to integrate first in terms of x, so we will treat y and z as a constant, then proceed integrating in terms of x, so it will be x squared over 2 plus xy plus xz. Then, plug it into the outer, then integrate it in terms of y, so, it will be x squared y over 2 plus xy squared over 2 plus xyz. Then again, plug it into the outer, then integrate it in terms of z. So, the final result will be x squared yz over 2 plus xy squared z over 2 plus xyz squared over 2. Next is the independent cases. This may seem hard, but it's not. We just need to be a little tricky. In integrating this case, are just the same process on strip cases, but it has a little add-ups, which is the limit, so it has a distribution process. Order of integrating it still don't matter, as long as we keep track which variable has a bound. It is shown that dx is associated with x integrand and bronze ab. dy is associated with y integrand and runs cd. dz is associated with z integrand and runs ef. Example number one for independent cases. Double integral of xy as x runs to 0 to 2, y runs to 0 to 1. So let's start with the parentheses and integrate over x first. So we need to treat y as a constant, so it will be x squared over 2 times y, which will be evaluated from 2 to 0. To be more little tricky, we will write limits x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 0, so it is unambiguous that x variable is just a part of distribution. So plugging in x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 0, the result is 2y. After evaluating the first integral, we need to plug it into the outer. Then integrate it with respect to y. So distribute then the result is equals to 1. We'll go ahead to the second example in independent case. Triple integral of x as x runs 1 and 2, y runs 2 and 3, z runs 0 and 6. I want to integrate first the y integral. So it will be like this with parentheses. Then integrate y and treat x and z as a constant so it will be xy plug it into the outer then evaluate it to y equals to 3 and subtract to y equals to 2 then it will be 3x minus 2x or equals to x then plug it to the outer and integrate in terms of x so it will be x squared over x then evaluate to x equals to 2 and subtract into x equals to 1. The result will be 1 again. Again, plug it to the outer, then integrate. Now, it is covered. Let's see your comprehension.
Time is up. If you're not done, pause the video. If not, these are the process and the answer. For exercise number one, double integral of cosine x as x runs 0 to pi, y runs 0 to 4. We need to start out with the parentheses. You can choose to integrate it first in terms of x or in terms of y. So, for the x terms that first integrated, it will be sine x, which will be evaluated in x equals to pi and x equals to 0. So, the result is 0. Plug it to the outer integral and integrate it in terms of y. Remember, antiderivative of 0 is equals to 0. So, the final answer in the exercise 1 is 0. Next exercise is the triple integral of 2 e raised to x. So we need to start out with a parenthesis, then integrate it in terms of x and treat y and z constant. So it will be 2x e x. Note, e raised to x is a constant in terms of integration. So we need to plug it in in the outer and integrate it in terms of y. So it will be 2xy e raised to x. Plug it in again in the outer, then integrate it in terms of z. So the final answer will be 2xyz e raised to x. Any variable you integrate it first, still 2xyz e raised to x is the final answer. Next case will be a little confusing and challenging for its limit has a variable. The next case is the dependent case. In integrating this case, you need to remember the concept in terms of evaluating its limit. If the limit has a variable of x, it will be only paired up with respect to y or z but not the x. If the limit has a y variable, it will be paired up to x and z. If the limit has a variable of z, it will be only paired up with respect to x and y. So, for example number 1, we notice that our limit has a variable x. So, it will be paired up and integrated first in terms of y and treat x as a constant. So, it will be y cubed over 3x. Evaluate it to y equals to 5x and subtract into y equals to 4x. Simplify. It will be 61 over 3x squared. Plug it to the outer, then integrate it in terms of x. So it will be 61x cubed over 9. Then evaluate it into x equals to 3 and x equals to 1. So, the final answer will be 1,586 over 9. Now, it is covered. Let's check your comprehension. Time's up. Let's check your answer. So first, we should have a parenthesis. Then, integrate in terms of y. Evaluate. Simplify. Then, plug into the outer. Integrate in terms of x. Then, evaluate. Simplify. And the final answer is approximately... 16.6 that's all for multiple integrals the double and the triple integrals again this is mary grace bernabe signing off <laughs>